So here's some help with the experiment 2 pre-lab. First question asks you to define the following terms. Sublimation, 1, and then 2 is filtration. So first, sublimation. Sublimation is when you go from a solid directly to a gas. So usually we think of solids as melting into liquids and liquids as boiling into gases. But some things go directly from a solid to a gas. Iodine is one example of that. Here is iodine subliming. Solid iodine pellets, they turn straight into a gas. And then carbon dioxide is another element that does that. So this is solid carbon dioxide. And you can see it going straight to a gas. So that's sublimation. The second thing was filtration. Filtration is when you separate two different elements or two different substances based on their size. So we've all seen this. You can use a coffee filter, for example, to do filtration. If you were to zoom in to a coffee filter with a microscope, you would see something like this. And this is actually a scanning electron microscope image of a coffee filter. And so if something is small enough to fit between those holes, in the coffee filter, then it'll go through, and if it's too big to fit into those holes, then it'll stay behind, and so you can separate things based on size. And we do that all the time with coffee, for example. The second question says to explain how this experiment demonstrates the concept of the conservation of matter. So, if uh, in this experiment, the matter that you have at the beginning of the experiment should equal the matter that you have at the end. And so the matter would be conserved. None of it gets created, none of it gets destroyed. What you started with stays at the end, and that should happen in this experiment. Third question says something like, a mixture contained 3.78 grams of silicon dioxide, 0.79 grams of cellulose, and 6.41 grams of sodium carbonate. What is the percentage of sodium carbonate in the mixture? Okay, so Silicon dioxide is really just sand, and you can see it purified on the right. Cellulose uh, is used to make structural things in plants, and if you look at the microscopic image on the right, it might res uh, remind you of the uh, coffee filter. And indeed, coffee filters tend to be made of cellulose. And then finally, sodium carbonate is really close to baking soda. It's almost the exact same thing. So let's say you had some sand, some like ground-up wood, and some baking soda mixed together, and they want to know how much of the baking soda is in there. That's what this question is asking. What is the percentage of sodium carbonate in the mixture? Now, a percent is a part over a whole times 100. Because they want the percentage of sodium carbonate on top, you should put the grams of sodium carbonate. That's the part, 6.41 grams of sodium carbonate. And on the bottom, you'll add up the grams of everything. So 3.78 grams of silicon dioxide, plus 0.79 grams of cellulose, plus 6.41 grams of sodium carbonate. That's all of the masses. And you multiply by 100, so that would be 6.41 grams over 10.98 grams times 100, and that would give you 58.38% sodium carbonate. So around 58.38% of that mixture would be the baking soda, sodium carbonate. 